the ceaseless river that governs our existence flows inexorably in a straight chronological order, yet remains an enigmatic force that has puzzled scientists for generations. Despite its apparent simplicity, time conceals deep complexities. The fabric of space-time is far more complex than people thought of. Consideration of Richitans. In which case, cross. What is time? Ha! Einstein, wake up! I wasn't sleeping, so I was thinking. Oh. But as science progressed, scientists and researchers have found evidence and loopholes that has made us question our existing theories. But understanding time is essential to understand relativity. No. In this episode, we'll dive into the evidence that time travel might be actually possible. A lot to consider, I know. Before, 20th century time travel was a thing for science fiction writers. People from various cultures, countries, have written about time travel. The earliest epic that mentions time travel was the Mahabharata, which is thought to have been written as early as 400 BC. Join us on this journey as we seek answers to one of the most profound questions in astronomy. The Clock That Went Backward, written by Edward Page Mitchell and H.G. Wells's The Time Machine, were great fiction stories that told us how time could be a dimension, but people disregarded it. The real shift came when Albert Einstein discovered general relativity, which proved gravity distorts properties of space and time. What is time? And for that matter, what is space? The more the force of gravity, time moves slower. This had changed everything. Acceleration and gravity are the same thing. This is the idea I've been missing to complete relativity. <laughs> Though these stories have serious, questionable doubts, there are scientific theories otherwise. The first theory of time travel suggests that it's possible to move through time by manipulating the space-time continuum. This theory was proposed by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity. According to this theory, Time can be bent and warped, allowing a person to move forwards or backwards in time. The concept of time travel has also materialized in pop culture. Back to the Future 1985, directed by Robert Zemeckis, captivated audience with its thrilling time travel concept. Teenager Marty McFly travels back to the 1950s in a DeLorean time machine, altering his parents' romance and facing the classic time travel paradox. The Terminator 1984, directed by James Cameron, where a deadly cyborg is sent back from 2029 to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor, whose unborn son will lead the human resistance to fight against the intelligent machines and artificial intelligence known as Skynet. In Christopher Nolan's Interstellar 2014, time dilation becomes a pivotal and heart-wrenching aspect of the story. As the astronauts journey near a powerful black hole, time passes at varying speeds for them and Earth. The protagonist, Cooper, played by Matthew McConaughey, experiences this firsthand when he returns from a mission to find that his daughter is aged significantly, while he himself has aged only a few years. While time travel movies can be fascinating, there are incidents that leaves us utterly shocked and puzzled. Let us explore these strange occurrences. In the early 2000s, online posts from this alleged time traveler took the internet by storm. John Titor claimed to be a US soldier from the year 2036 in a parallel timeline. He shared grainy photos of his time machine, as well as cryptic warnings about the future. In 2018, an individual named Edward made extraordinary claims of being a time traveler, asserting that he had experienced a journey to the year 5000 and returned with compelling evidence. According to his story, Edward was supposedly selected for a secretive project in 2004 that catapulted him into the distant future. He shared what he claimed to be a photograph of an underwater city said to be Los Angeles, 3,000 years ahead in time. The image he presented portrayed a world profoundly transformed by global warming, with rising sea levels submerging coastal regions. To adapt and survive, humanity had constructed floating cities, 
Edward described this futuristic metropolis as humanity's beacon of hope, facing ecological challenges head-on and providing a potential path for our survival. Andrew Carlson, who was supposedly arrested in March 2003 for SEC violations for making 126 high-risk stock trades and being successful on every one. As reported, Carlson started with an initial investment of $800 and ended with over $350 million, which drew the attention of the SEC. Later reports suggest that after his arrest, he submitted a four-hour confession wherein he claimed to be a time traveler from 200 years in the future. He offered to tell investigators such things as the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and the cure for AIDS in return for a lesser punishment and to be allowed to return to his timecraft, although he refused to tell investigators the location or workings of his craft. The mysterious man posted his bail and Carlson was scheduled for court hearing but was never seen again. Records show that he'd never existed. In October 2010, Northern Irish filmmaker George Clark uploaded a video clip entitled Chaplin's Time Traveller to YouTube. The clip analyzes bonus material in a DVD of the Charlie Chaplin film The Circus. Included in the DVD is footage from the film's Los Angeles premiere at Grauman's Chinese Theatre in 1928. At one point, a woman is seen walking by, holding up an object to her ear. Clark said that on closer examination, she was talking into a thin, black device that had appeared to be a phone. Clark concluded that the woman was possibly a time traveler. The clip received millions of hits and was the subject of televised news stories. In 1932, a German reporter, J. Bernard Hutton, and photographer, Joachim Brandt, were assigned a story on the Hamburg shipyard. Once there, however, the two men panicked when bombs began falling around them. After snapping a few pictures, they left in a hurry. No one at the paper believed their story, and their photograph showed nothing out of the ordinary. Eleven years later, in 1943, Hutton was shocked when he read a story in an English newspaper about an Allied air raid on Hamburg, with pictures showing him scenery he was very familiar with. Did Hutton and Brandt leap forward in time somehow? The Montauk Project Experiments in Time, written by Preston B. Nichols and Peter Moon, is a central influence in the show's storyline. The book presents a series of claims about secret government experiments conducted at Camp Hero in Montauk, New York. According to the book, these experiments involved mind control, time travel, and interdimensional travel. The authors suggest that these experiments resulted in the creation of the Montauk Chair, a device that allegedly allowed individuals to access and manipulate time and consciousness. Additionally, the book introduces the story of Al Bilek, who claimed to have been involved in the Philadelphia Experiment. The Philadelphia Experiment is a well-known conspiracy theory that alleges the US Navy conducted experiments to make the USS Eldridge invisible to radar, leading to unintended consequences, including teleportation and time travel. The story of Rudolf Fence is an urban legend from the early 1950s and has been repeated since as a reproduction of facts and presented as evidence for the existence of time travel. The essence of the legend is that in New York City in 1951, a man wearing 19th century clothes was hit by a car. The subsequent investigation revealed that the man had disappeared without a trace in 1876. The items in his possession suggested that the man had traveled through time from 1876 to 1951 directly. The folklorist Chris Orbeck investigated the story and found it originated in a science fiction book of the 1950s, A Voice from the Gallery by Ralph M. Holland, which had copied the tale from I'm Scared, a short story by Jack Finney, 1911 to 1995. As mind-boggling and fascinating these stories get, there were, of course, loopholes, and we now know them. On the case of John Titor, a subsequent investigation concluded that Titor was probably entertainment lawyer Larry Haber, or the lady with the phone was nothing but newly developed hearing aids at the time. Science remains far more strange and creepy than anything we know. Though ultimately we know these stories are just conspiracies, there are some real scientific evidence that proves us otherwise. Several theoretical frameworks have been proposed to explore the possibility of time travel. 
In 1905, Albert Einstein revolutionized our understanding of time with his theory of special relativity. This groundbreaking concept revealed that time is relative to an observer's frame of reference. As an object approaches the speed of light, a phenomenon known as time dilation occurs, causing time to pass more slowly for the moving object compared to a stationary observer. Also later on his paper on general relativity, he described the fabric of space-time can be curved in such a way that it allows for shortcuts between distant points. These theoretical passages are called wormholes. If traversable wormholes exist, they could potentially enable travel between different points in space-time effectively. These scientific breakthroughs, if harnessed and understood fully, might one day grant us the ability to explore distant corners of space-time and unlock the mysteries of the universe. Futuristic spacecraft propelled by revolutionary technologies are being developed, enabling us to venture further into the cosmos than ever before. As we venture forth, the universe unfolds like an endless story, with infinite possibilities awaiting those who dare to dream and explore. So, as we conclude this chapter of our cosmic voyage, let us embrace the excitement of what lies ahead. The universe holds its secrets close, waiting for us to uncover its mysteries. Thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a chance to explore these wonders of the cosmos with us.